Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newqbo.com. Newqbo.com, that's our uh, uh, QBO blog, so you want to check it out. So in this video, I'm going to uh, discuss how to handle or uh, recover your account stable AR account written off uh, as bad debts expense account. And uh, uh, so here's a, a simple scenario. Uh, you know, the customer never paid uh, invoice for, let's say, $1,000 and you wrote off as bad debt expense account. And uh, somehow later they paid uh, that invoice. Uh, you already written off, but they paid it. So how to handle this? So that's the focus of this video. I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online. So there's my QuickBooks Online. And I'm going to go to uh, Customers in here. Alright, let's just say uh, uh, this invoice here. Okay, so you invoice this uh, 2017. Now it's uh, over one year old, but they never paid it. You call them many times and they just don't pay it. So, okay. So in this case, let's say you just uh, wrote off this as, uh, uh, as bad date. And... Uh, a couple of ways to do it. This is a simple way. You just wrote, uh, wrote a journal entry to do this. Okay, so all right, let's go to the journal entry form in here. So normally, if you have uh, already written off, you, you know, you, you'll know uh, how you wrote off that entry. So uh, this one is still outstanding. So I'm just gonna write off this entry. So I'm just gonna write a journal entry. Okay, so when you write a journal entry, it's basically bad debt expense. Okay, bad debt expense account, and expense account debit is one thousand, and the credit is your AR. Account civil for thousand dollars, and the name is uh, Costa Verde. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to select uh, location in here and class. You may not have this. That's okay. So the the key here is the debit and credit. Uh, for debit is bad debt and credit is AR. Okay. So let's say this is how you did it, and let's say you did it uh, after one year. Let's say. Uh, Okay, so let's just say you did it, uh, uh, wrote off this, and uh, now it's basically the amount is uh, open is zero, the overdue is still showing here, but still have to, even if you have written off, you still have to show as, uh, so re receive payment in order not to show this overdue thing. So you just click receive payment, and you'll see deb uh, both in here. Uh, invoice as well as the credit in here for, from the journal entry and select the same date so this is the write off bad debt okay so it's funny because uh, they never paid it but you have to go through this to uh, clear this Okay, so now you don't have anything, so it's done. So uh, in 2019, let's say uh, they paid this invoice for the same $1,000. That's pretty good news, money coming in. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to reverse the same entry, the same entry in here. S you wrote uh, uh, last year. All right, so you can just... Uh, uh, Click this, and then you can reverse this. Here's the reverse one. Reverse it. So it's basically reversing the uh, same uh, back to expense account and then AR debit. And let's say this one, you, they paid it in 2019. Okay, so 2019, let's just say it here. Okay, so the reversal, now it's a save and close. 
all right everything in here I don't know what this says just don't worry about that okay so now it's one thousand dollars is back right and at this point all we have to do is you will need to receive payment on this invoice on this uh, on not, not invoice now it's basically reversal of zone entry so you just need to show uh, money coming in all right so if you are doing the banking you will see it in here and I'll just say just to see manually recorded the bank deposit in here okay so checking account that's fine okay receive from this cost of verdict account and the account is the account receivable in this case and the amount is thousand dollars okay and in this case you can select the check the reference number check number and stop right and then save and close okay so now let's go to that customer account and right now in here is the uh, okay so uh, in this case you need to receive payment on this one as well so receive payment payment so you will see both in here all right so just select both so here's your reversal of your journal entry and you see payment and check the date and everything and if you want you can write down let's say this paid by check right here this is to clear the account so that you receive payment and save it now it's gone so now everything is closed paid closed you know the status looks good so this is how you have to do it well thank you for watching this video hope this video is helpful to you be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels we have two channels PP controller and the other one is QuickBooks Cubio the one you're watching we have all kinds of free video tutorials all kinds so uh, you want to check it out thank you again bye